Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Comedy USA on a Tuesday. How are you guys doing? When the MC announces, ladies and gentlemen, coming on the stage right now, Trevor! The people go crazy, the ladies are screaming, they are throwing panties and bras on stage, and then they say, Kumbi! Like I said, man, I was watching the movie Independence Day with Will Smith and the aliens and shit. And I thought Americans are pretty arrogant to assume that if aliens landed on Earth, they'd land in America. What if aliens landed in Africa? Not just anywhere in Africa, but like a colored neighborhood. We all know colored people are known for their no-nonsense attitudes, short tempers, and Lacoste shoes. This should be the shortest movie in the history of alien movies. The alien will go to the first colored person they see, say, take us to your leader. This is all you'd hear. Say, my brother. KJV Ekas. That's it, everyone starts crying, crying, death, curses. That's how the movie ends. Or oh, what if the very same aliens landed in a place full of Nigerian people? Bear in mind, Nigerians are known for their anger. This would be a very, very, very short movie. They go to the first Nigerian they see, say, take us to your leader. This is all you'd hear. <laughs> Motherfucker. You know, go enter. There's two kinds of racists. There's a racist that will swear at you in Afrikaans, you know, and then there's racists that will swear at you in Vanak. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Have you guys ever met these people? They're like, yeah, I swear when I'm sick. Afrikaans guys, they will fucking swear at you in Vanak. That shit hurts, man. As a black person, I feel that shit, you know? <laughs> And then there's and then there's liberal people, but there's there's different kinds of liberal people. There's like your your pseudo liberal people, you know, the ones that watch Carte Blanche on Sundays, like, oh shit, that's so terrible, hey? That's so terrible what happened. Listen, did you guys buy your rhino horns, hey? Did you? Did you? Shock. Shame, man. It's so tragic. It's so tragic what's happening. Oh my god. Listen, so we're going to Greece in July. Who's coming? <laughs> You know, so there's those pseudo-liberals. They don't really give a fuck. They care more about rhinos than they care about people. There's those pseudo-liberals. They don't really care. Then you get the overcompensating liberals. Do you, you, you guys know which? It's like the ones that do the handshake. They're like, hi, Tabiso. Sure, sure. And then they're like, what does that mean? What does that mean, Tabiso? That's a beautiful name, Tabiso. It's a situ Zulu. I know my shit, eh? I do. I do. I know it. You know, I even I sing Shosha Noza at all the marches. Yeah. I can eat whole Shosha Noza. Yeah. Like the spear Shosha fucking Noza. Yeah. Goodman Gallery. Shosha Noza. All them people had a robot. You shouldn't call it a robot. You should call it a flea market. How they got a kid section at the robot? That that don't make no sense. They selling chargers and goddamn hair and makeup. They got artwork for you. Dude selling Ben 10 watches. He had a beach ball. I said it ain't no fucking water for 13 hours. Bitch don't kill my life. Bitch don't kill my life. Bitch don't kill my life. Being a DJ, cool. I don't know about y'all. Thank you, my dude. What is this? I asked Ayanda for a Jaeger bomb, and he brought me the opposite. This is what I don't like about Africans. Y'all love to do this shit. I'm speaking perfect English. I go to a bar. I say, hey, man, let me get a Sprite with no ice. And the nigga just immediately shut down and just... I'm like, what's up with the teeth? Just give me my damn drink. Just smile. 
I know how to differentiate white folk and Afrikaans, and I know how to point out Afrikaans now. All African men got this real similar haircut. And it's like a little, a little fucked up mohawk. But it really looked like they stuck their head in somebody's ass. And they, I was like, yeah, that's it right there. That's my ass for con. <laughs> that's my ass for con right there. I'm trying to learn, y'all. I can't. Growing up in America, man, my mom was all Afrocentric, and we had this tribes of Africa with the Zulu tribe, and the, but we ain't know, and we were saying the ex hosas <laughs> But then I know you came over here, and it was Osa. I'm, it's, that's a, oh no, the Osa women is fine as hell. I know about y'all. I heard about y'all. Everybody want to get a closer woman. You just don't want to wipe her up. <laughs> I've been here too long. I know. Oh, stop. Trevor was giving y'all a pass on your hair game. Ladies, you can rock a wig. Don't nobody care. You can rock whatever you want. This is what I don't like. Wash your shit. Why is you? You should not have to do that to yourself. And an uh, argument can happen right here, and you be like, hold on one second. I'm just, let me get this damn itch out real quick. Girl. It was really itch that we got this. Do you know what no one has said so far? These fucking Indians don't want to say that yet. And you know why that is? Because I've got Indian friends, they've got excellent uh, skills. As soon as there's a fight, stay down. Stay down. Fatima, don't get involved. Let them kill each other. Then we will take um Shlanga. Says we are. We're so busy fighting each other, we're getting fucked by the Gupta family. What the fuck is going on there? I know, I know. And she's sitting there laughing, thinking I'm gonna get to laugh and fuck a rich old guy later. How cool is that? But don't worry, girls, there's less competition tonight, because one of you is sleeping in Tokyo's house. She's fucking young, man. She's hot and young, and she's younger than the whiskey he drinks. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I'm fucking impressed. When I saw her pictures in the paper, I thought, fuck it, I will call you cheap. Well done. Because um, <laughs> I met him once. He calls everyone cheap. It's too, it's too bad. It's bad. Um,